Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I got something on my mind right now and it's been bugging me ever since I um <laughs> ever since I found out about it, which was this morning. So <laughs> have y'all ever talked to somebody and then y'all drifted apart? And I'm wondering on my eye. Y'all drifted apart. And it was on you. Because I'm talking about myself. <laughs> it was on me why I drifted apart from the person. Scared, you know. And it happened two times. Very good person, right? As far as I know. Was a very good person. But I was scared. <laughs> I was scared to get in a relationship. Then fast forward, years down the road, I'm thinking of them. I'm like, let me reach out, you know? And I reached out. And I did apologize for how I had been acting. I, how I had acted in the past. Because I'm not like that now. But it was like a fight or flight situation. And instead of me, you know, or, okay, yeah, trying it out, I just left. And that wasn't cool at all. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't thinking about his feelings. For real, for real. I'm just thinking about me. Like, um, yeah. I'm just scared. So anyway. Fast forward to today. And I reached out to him. Well, I reached out to him a couple of days ago. When I got back to Houston. For some reason, he was on my mind. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. I haven't talked to him in forever. And... Like, you know, I want to see, like, what's going on with him um, and all that. And when I reached out to him, let me fix this bag on camera, y'all. I got it on the mirror. And when I reached out to him, like, I could tell, like, how he was responding, even though, like, I apologize. He accepted my apology, all that great stuff. And I just told him, you know, I apologize for how I acted or whatever. And this was from years ago. Like, it wasn't of the recent. I ain't seen this man or talked to him in years like since before COVID for real as far as talking to him anyway so he was like you know I'm glad um um he was like I accept your apology I appreciate you um it doesn't like it was something that was missing like you know so like I'm glad you're doing good. I'm doing good, and then that it really left off like that. And I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, I was really thinking that he was single. I really did. I really did think he was single, or you know, if he was in something, then you know he could still talk to me or whatever. Just to see where things go, baby. When I tell you, something told me this morning because that was some days ago, two days ago, matter of fact. Today's Friday. No, Thursday. It was. I hit him up Monday night. He did respond back very, um, very quick. Like, boom, boom, pow, boom, boom, pow. You know what I mean? And then I did leave my number. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if he do got something going on, he ain't going to reach out. If he don't got something going on, he going to reach out. But it was like he didn't even look at the message or nothing. And I'm thinking, like, mm -hmm. okay. So I gave it a day. I gave it two days. And then this morning, I'm like, let me just erase the number. Like, obviously, this man got something going on because you was real short with me. Although not really, really short because you did you did acknowledge my apology. You accepted it. Um, You appreciate me for reaching out. You said you was good. You was glad I was good. And you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. But I just felt like 
there was more to it than you know what it was because all these years that we had been like dealing with each other on and off which it wasn't it wasn't it was a lot of off than it than it was on and that all was me that all was me because of my fears so anywho so um something told me to look at his profile you know i'm like okay well let me just look at his profile just to see if you know there's somebody else in his life you know he got a woman you know something going on maybe the whole the i looked and i'm like oh okay the man is married maybe long time back he talked about marriage to me and i was scared i was like why are you talking about this so quick and he would let me know then that when he looking for a woman he looking for a wife and at that very moment I wasn't ready for all that. And he had some things going on that I just was like, ooh. So I fled the scene. Like, for real, for real. I just freaked out and was like, I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? And fast forward to now. Because I did give it a little shot. I went to see him. We had a good time. And I'm just thinking like, okay, boom, boom, boom. Um, I... I didn't know how this was going to work out. I didn't give it a chance either. So fast forward to now. Baby, when I looked and seen that you married and you got a kid, a whole baby, a whole child. Like the, the child is not a baby now. But I'm like, oh God, like I felt bad because I didn't know if I knew that he had a whole thing going on, a whole wife, a whole daughter. Baby, mm-mm. I would have never reached out. Why? Like, why would I reach out knowing that I ain't trying to stir the pot? I ain't trying to mess with somebody that already got somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought he was just single. That's why I just reached out and was like, hey, because I had been thinking about him here and there, but I just never acted on it. Baby, when I tell you it was too late, it's too late. Like, mm -mm. so I don't know why I'm telling you all this story, but I'm just telling you all this story. Um... And I mean, this is just recent. So it's like, girl, basically, if, if, there's a, is the, if there's a person out there for you, and obviously because I moved on, he had to find somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand all that. He can't just wait around for me to be, oh, sure. Oh, you ready now to get in a relationship? Oh, okay, cool. I don't wait a whole five years. No, no. The man, honey, boo-boo, like a woman, a lot of times we'll wait. I don't know what for, but we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting around, like, for them to get their life together, for them to, you know, step it all the way up, you know. But, I mean, boo, if you say that, um, um, I guess, you know, it ain't gonna work out, or um, you lollygagging, like, you not trying to do nothing, like, baby, they're gonna put their foot on the gas and roll. Like, they ain't got time, especially if they on a mission. Like, obviously, he was on a mission. He wanted a relationship. And at that time, I was just like pausing, pausing, like for real, for real. And now I'm looking at it like, dang, that could have been me. I could have been married with, with a kid or just married or whatever, working on a kid. I mean, who knows? But I'm saying all this to say, I don't even know why I'm getting emotional about this. But I am, and it's crazy because when I look back on everything, I thought that he was a really good dude, but something that he was going through, it, pull, it pulled me away from him because I'm like thinking about myself, like, well, how am I deal with this? You know what I'm saying? Like, how are we going to do this if you got this going on? And instead of me talking to him about it and like working through it, because he was all for me. He was all for me. All he wanted to do, to do was spend time with me. And I pushed him away. I pushed him away. And then I had tears this morning because I'm like, dang, I missed out on a good thing. And then I'm thinking, Lord, okay, maybe, maybe that whole situation wasn't meant for me. Obviously, it wasn't meant for me if I'm where I'm at now and he's where he's at now and Lord knows I've grown I've grown I'm matured and all that great stuff but 
how can I expect a man to be waiting on me like for all this long time? I remember going through trials and tribulations and going through a relationship. I just went through a relationship not that long ago and I felt he was everything. And looking back, he wasn't what I needed. And then the person that I'm talking about to you O'Neal, he was definitely a person that I needed and I pushed him away. So now it's like, okay, God, if he not the one, because obviously he not, he belonged to a whole nother person. And I cannot disrespect that. Like, mm -mm. I'm, I'm, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I, I even apologized. After I looked on his profile and seen pictures and in his description, he said that he has a wife and a, and a child. I'm like, when I tell you my heart went down in my stomach and I just was like, oh my God. Yo, know, the tears, it's crazy, but I know I'm going to be okay. It's something I got to get past. And I know God, he got to have something better in store for me. What I think is good for me. I don't know the man's relationship with his wife, with his, with his family. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that because I haven't talked to this man in years. I wished him well. I let him know that I knew that he had a wife and child. And I said, I know. I said, I just found out you have a wife and a child. And, well, a wife and family. And if I knew that when I hit you up uh, the other day, I wouldn't have hit you up the other day. Because I don't want to stir the pot. I don't want to mess up nothing that he has going on with his family. So I let that be known. And... I apologize, of course. And what else did I say? Um, I said that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm too late. And that's on me. Because it is. It's on me that I'm too late. He he was a good dude. And I just let my, my fear just, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. you don't want to, you don't want to go do, even though he going through his thing. I should have been there for him to go through his thing. And also, we go through everything together. But no. But no. I let a good man slip away. But still. I don't know their situation. I hope everything is going well. I did wish him the best. And I told him that he's a great person. And that's that on it. He actually did read the message. Like. He didn't read the message the other day. When I actually left my phone number. And said. You know. If you want to talk. Or text. Boom. But then I had to unsend that message. Because I'm thinking like. Okay. Well. There ain't no need for me to leave my phone number. Knowing that you already got somebody and like, this is marriage. Like, it ain't just, no, I got a girlfriend. You have a whole wife. So I can't, uh-uh, I don't want to mess up nothing like that. So anyway, that's all done. That's all said and done. And <laughs> now her, her looking like a beautiful, just, ooh, ooh, gotta get myself together. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, y'all. So, um, I'm about to get myself together right now. I had to tell y'all this quick story. And one day very soon, I'm going to just let it all out because it's still here. And I'm just like, you know what, God? Whatever you have for me, I know it's for me. Whatever you have coming for me, I know that it's going to be for me. Like, I ain't gonna be afraid to, to, you know, if it's a good dude, a good person, I gotta act on it. I can't be, I can't let fear just, you know, stop because that could be holding back my blessing, you know? But anyway, I'm about to get ready. I just washed my face and I got to get up out of here, but y'all just had to tell y'all that. Mm. Hello. I might come back. If I don't come back, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Share, share, share this video with everyone. I love you. I love you.